Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. My name is Sakshi and in today's tutorial we will learn about the SQL queries part 2. So in today's session we will cover all the 14 queries. So let's go one by one. This is my employee table and there are total 7 records. So you can see first query is find duplicates record which I have already covered in our previous part. But I took this query again to show you the difference between the unique numbers and the duplicate records. So if you see duplicate record, it is showing 101, right? So if you see our table, we have the duplicate record 101 and 101, two times, right? Now if you see find the unique number, only we are changing here the operator. This is greater than that's why we are finding duplicates is equal to is finding the unit records. So you can see here unique record is six records we have the unique record not six we have the five records in the unique. So you can see here it completely remove 101 record because it is duplicate record. This is the difference between the find duplicates and unique number. The next question is how to fetch second highest salary of an employee. So we also covered this in previous session but in that we have do the partitions on the employee ID. Here we are not doing any partitions. We are simply facing the second highest salary. So this is the different approach. You can also go with the dense rank without partition. So if you see in our table, if you see 99,000, let me copy this. So 99,000 is the highest salary, right? After that, second highest salary is 77,000. Third is 60,500. Likewise. So what we want, we want the second highest salary, right? So we are expecting this is uh, this in our output, 77,000. So let me check. So you can see we are getting the expecting result. What we did here, we simply took the max operator, max of salary from table, where salary is less than select max of salary from employee. Next question, how to get common records from both the table? So you can simply use intersect operator. This is the set operator. So by using this, you can find out the, and so before that, let me show you employee table. So you can see in this employee table, we have the three record 101, 102 and 103. So you can see this is matching 102, 103 and 101. That's why it is showing three common record. Intersect is nothing but the common records. Okay. So next question is how to retrieve the last five records from table. So I want the last five records. So what we will do first, we will do the descending right on the employee ID. So what we will get, we will get these records. and 2. So what I did here, I use this subquery. In that subquery, I simply order by employee ID descending, which will give the result like this. And where row number is less than and equal to 5. So this record and this uh, output we will get. So let's check. So you can see we are getting the expected output. It skip this record, right? 101 because we only want the five record. You can also use limit five. This query select star from in table name order by employee ID descending where limit five, but limit is not supporting in Oracle. But you can remember this approach. 
next query how to find employee who don't have manager so in our case if you see our table we have the manager id right so we have the manager is none so 102 and where we are having null 104 so this should be our output so let's check so you can see output is same as we are expecting bob and david so what we did we simply took the manager id is null so it will give the employee who don't have manager next question is how to update employee salary by 10 percentage so if you see currently our salary is this now if we update then we are simply using the update statement update table name set salary on which column we have to do we will take that column then how much salary we have to update 10 right so we'll take 1.1 and that salary column let me update this okay 7 was updated so let me check so you can see here our salary has changed right it is incremented by 10 percentage move to the next question how to find youngest employee in the organization if you see our table and if you see the birth date we can simply call birth on the birth date right you, if you see this record is the youngest record because if you see his birth date is 2000 then other employees so let me check so simply we will do the birth date column descending and limit 1 or we can also use the select star from employee order by birth date descending where row num is equal to 1. See 101. Question. How to fetch first and last record from table? So if you see our table first record is 101 smith right and second and the last record is 106 so you can see 101 and 106 so let me check here we are using the union all okay select start from employee order by employee id ascending where row number is equal to 1 same query we are using difference is only we are using here descending sorry we are using descending so let me run this query see 101 and 106 in this way we can find out the first and last record by using the limit also you can do but this is the simple approach next question how to find all employee who have been in the company more than five years so five years means 60 days right so what we are doing in this uh, query it uses the months between function to calculate the number of months between two days that is the six days this one and the join date their join date so if result is more than 60 months which is five years so let me show you if you see the join date Here you can see which is more than 5. And this 20, right? So how many record? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So except this record. 2023. And 2025 so we'll get rest record so let me run this so you can see here we are getting the expected dates records
right move to the next question write a query to get all the employees record in xml format and this is very rare question guys this is not the common one but you can remember this syntax if you want output in the xml format so you will get like this let me show you if i copy this xml format it looks like this okay next question how to list all employee hired in the last six months so we can simply use the add months sys date minus six so it will give the result so here is only one record which is hired in the last six months next question how to list all employee who do not have bonus so if you see our table we have the bonus right bonus column so you can see null is here so we are expecting these three records one zero four and one zero six so let me check yes we are getting expected result so query is very simple select star from table name where bonus is null next question delete duplicates but keep one so what this query will do guys our goal is to keep only one record for each employee id and remove all the duplicates from table right so if you see in our table i have already shown you 101 record is duplicate right so row id why we are using the row id because it is giving us the unique number right and minimum row id keep the first inserted record and all other it will delete let me show you for example this is my unique records okay so there are total seven record if you see 101 and minimum row id is one then same record it come into table but the row id is seven so it will keep the it will keep this minimum row id and it will delete this duplicate record so let me show you delete from employee where row id not in select minimum row id from employee group by employee id this is very simple query so always before deleting always check select star from means check the record so if you see 101 we will delete so one row deleted right so let me check table so you can see 101 record has been deleted from table see what was our table this is our table right So it removed this row id and it took the minimum row id by using the ct also you can do this scenario so guys if you feel this video is informative please like comment and share my video thank you for watching keep growing and learning